<laughs> Hi, this is Julie Cruz, and I'm talking to you. And I would like to share a story with you that was my favorite story when I was a little girl. It's called Pinky's Bubble Egg, and it goes something like this. In the faraway world of Pinky's Bubble Egg, things changed. My name is David Lynch, and I would like to tell you how Pinky's Bubble Egg came into being. In a dark world just this side of our own, in the land of the shadows, a short, stocky, yet twisted-looking male gnome castrated a small fairy dog. The wheezing moan, actually the air of the wheezing moan, which issued forth from the dog's nostrils, contained a faint melody of Pinky's Bubble Egg. Now, this particular world, being very near and yet very far, has absolutely no connection to our present lives. So sometime in the distant future, when things have changed, some amber was dripping from a tree. Time passed, and geologists from a university found it as a prehistoric, petrified example worth keeping. And by accident, or at least for no expressed purpose, a rosin bow was pulled across this string of petrified amber, and the melody sounded forth once again, this time not from the realm of dreams, but in what we call reality, which we all know is a joke. <laughs> 